If you're on an Equid business plan or higher, you have the ability to edit your orders. You can do so from here by clicking update order and edit order. Or you can go to this edit orders page where you can also edit your orders and create new orders manually. Let's take a look at the process of editing an order. So here's one that has been paid and is awaiting process. We'll click on that one. And you can edit essentially any aspect of the order here. So let's say maybe this customer got in touch with us and said, hey, I put in the wrong address. Can you please fix that for me? We can edit here. And maybe it's 1555 Street Road. Easy enough. Just put that change in. Make sure you save it. And that's all there is to it. Let's go back to the order list. Creating orders is especially good for two things. One, if you just want to kind of play around with the system and familiarize yourself a little bit with it, you can create some fake orders just to practice. This is also good for if someone places an order maybe over the phone, if, if they don't have an internet connection or were unable to access your store for whatever reason, but they were able to contact you, then you can go in and manually create an order so you still have a record of that order, even though it wasn't actually placed online. Let's go ahead and do that quickly here. We'll put in the customer email, the shipping method. We'll say this was USPS. The payment method. We'll say they're going to send us a check. Shipping and billing address. Say this gentleman's name was John Doe. Save changes. Then we need to edit the order itself. So let's add a product. We'll add 00001 Lollipop. And if we need to remind ourselves of the price, then we can always pull that up. Our catalog and products. I'm going to open this in a new tab so we don't lose this right here. Looks like our lollipops are $1.99. So $1.99. And maybe there were 10 of those. Add product. And notice it gets the information that we typed in and automatically knows that this is the exact product, primarily based on the SKU here. Maybe they didn't order a chocolate walnut cup, so we can edit that and remove it. And we'll say this was the full order. And the tax on this was maybe uh, $2 even. And shipping was $3. Save changes. Now we have all of that information here. Now let's scroll back up to the top. And we don't see a save button for all of this. We have saved our individual changes, but in order for the system to save this entire order, you have to click this place order button. If we try to go back to the order list, you'll get a notification that you have unsaved changes. That's because we haven't clicked this place order button yet. So always make sure that you do that. And that takes us back to the full edit orders page. And you'll see that we have our new order here. And it will also be on our main orders page right here. So these are the ways you can manage your orders on a manual level whenever you might need to do so.